Hello, it's me, Sunfire SG. Welcome back to the Obsidian Order. Now I have got a few things to show you. I am I apologize. I videos may be a little scarce on the ground. I know I've been doing a few sort of YouTube shorts one week. That might take a back seat. I've been doing a bit of editing work for my sister. It's my nephew's fifth birthday soon. And she's got five years worth of photos that need to be condensed down into five minutes for a video she wants. And uh, I've not been given much time to do it. So <laughs> I've been quite busy with that. Now we've got a new friend in here. If we can, can we, can we get up? Why can't we get up? E. I know we could get up there before. E. Ah, there we go. We'll do that. We've got uh, Tim our resident librarian. We did have a librarian down here, but we had a few issues and he mysteriously disappeared. I didn't get a message to say he died, but he was gone. Uh, this guy is not as cheap as the last villager. We were getting our bookshelves for one emerald each. This one's free. It's still not bad. I'm happy with that. I do use a lot of bookshelves and We've had a bit of a rearrange down here. I did show this off in a stream, but I want to show you a bit more of what's been going on. This is our mob spawner farm that we started in episode one. And we've just kind of melded it together with a pathway that goes up to the surface to the chicken farm and the water wheel where we first started this town. But we've also got a, another little avenue down here which we've kind of got a few little sort of slam houses, I guess. They're just little things I wanted to put in just to kind of make the the corridor seem a little more filled out. It was feeling a little bit burr. So we've got a few more of those that we want to put in at some point. And if we head up to the surface, I can show you around the bookmakers that we had started and, and kind of showed off in the last episode. Oops. And we did a chimney fall, but uh, we hadn't done the interior. So now we've done the interior, we can actually take a look at it. I've put in some dormer windows. And I do need to put maybe some shutters on that side over there, which we can do. But we have got all this in. We are getting some weird lag today. I mean, it could be because we've got a lot of these custom heads in here. Um, they do tend to add a little bit of strain on the computer, but you know, it was kind of necessary for this. So we've got a little bit of a bookmaking area and a dining area, I guess, here in the kitchen. We have got some lovely upstairs bedrooms and nooks and crannies and closets and all that kind of stuff. I love the feel of this. I love how enclosed everything feels. Uh, the whole building feels enclosed and cozy. You know, it's winding. It's It's different. It's not just big open rooms. So I, I have enjoyed that this year with just being able to do a bit more. Ooh, it's kind of nice that the trees have grown up here. You can kind of just see the pathway, have a little sneaky cup of coffee on the uh, in your mornings. Just enjoy the hustle and bustle of daily life, I guess. Obviously, it'll be a bit more hustle and bustle when we get more buildings in here. But yeah, you get what I mean. And yeah, up here, we've got another couple of sort of hidden rooms as well. But that is our book maker's shop and I think today what we're going to be looking at is I might start another house I don't really have a plan yet for the which way is it this way <laughs> see this is a good thing I get lost in my own builds um, but we want to maybe start another building I know that we've done a, a few houses recently and we kind of wanted to go away from that a little bit but I just haven't really had time to do much other than houses. I haven't been able to sort of plan out a bridge and houses are very easy to knock up in a short amount of time. Whereas the bridge, I kind of want to do a bit more planning. I want it to look a little different. Every, every bridge here is going to look different. And we've already had this bridge here, nice little cobble number and granite. And we've also got this bridge around here, which was more sort of wood-based, dark oak, was it, I think? Yeah, some dark oak or spruce. And then we've also got the uh, diorite bridge and the brick bridge around here as well, leading to the farms. And I, I do want to do something different. Every bridge has been different so far, and I kind of want to keep that up and, you know, give it, a, give it a different point of interest. 
You know, everything's supposed to be different. It's supposed to be a bustling city. I don't want anything to look too similar. Uh, and, and that does get tricky when you're on a build of this size. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll head over to a new spot and we'll start a build. the joys of Minecraft. I went into this build with absolutely no idea what I would build, where I would build, or how I would build it. 
and I have got to say I am very happy with how this turned out. And originally I didn't really have any idea of what this could be, but I think what we will do is we will make this our potion shop, our apothecary, as it's just got this feel with this tower that it's, I don't know, somewhat slightly magical about it. So we've got three different floors, we're going to have the apothecary on the bottom floor, maybe the entire tower for potion brewing, we'll find a way of maybe not fully automating it, but some way of, of making it so you can just hit a button and it sends an item kind of stuff. I, I feel like that could be quite a good way to have the, the potion brewing set up, arranged. And yeah, I'm really happy with this, really happy with the tower, really happy with the build. Super stoked. I think we'll be doing the interior again on a stream. I found that the interiors can be a little repetitive, but I enjoy doing it on streams. People people seem to like watching it, and I like talking to people, so we'll probably do that. But that is all we will say for this episode. I will catch you next time. Bye for now.